Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I hope everyone is fit and fine. This is going to be my first video for the year 2022. In this video, I'll be solving exercise 8.1 from the unit 8, that is projection of a side of a triangle. This unit is basically composed of three theorems, and we are going to apply those three theorems for solving the sums. Let's start with question number one. Given AC is equal to 1 cm, BC is equal to 2 cm, measure angle C is equal to 120 degree and we are supposed to find the length AB and the area of triangle ABC. So if you see we are having one angle 120 uh, of angle 120 degree so we are going to this is going to be the obtuse angle so we are going to apply theorem 1 on it. We'll be drawing the figure first so I'll just be making like this okay now we are going to label it a B and C usually we make the uh, angle with the base so that is why I have drawn C over here right so we are going to label it further angle C is given to be as 120 degree AC is given to be as 1 centimeter and BC is given to be as 2 centimeter since we are going to apply the theorem and we, in which theorem we are having projection of one side too, so we are going to draw the projection of one side, right? So this is the angle 120 degrees, so we are going to draw the projection of side BC on the side AC produced, okay? So since we are going to have this one, so this is going to be the projection and we'll label it as D. So CD is the projection of BC. Okay, now we are going to find the measurement of AB. Okay, so let's apply the theorem. The theorem says the side, the square of the side opposite to obtuse angle. Since this C angle is 120 degree and the side is opposite to that angle is AB. So we are going to take the square of that side, AB whole square. That is equal to sum of the square of the sides containing that obtuse angle. So obtuse angle is contained by these two sides. One side is this, another side is this. So we are going to take the sum and then square of these two sides, which will be AC square plus BC square. And then further it says twice plus twice the rectangle contained by one of the sides and the projection on it of the other. So now we'll talk about this side. So twice the rectangle contained by this side and the projection of it, see is a projection, projection on it of the other. On the same side we are going to, we have taken the projection. So this is the theorem that we are going to apply. Now we are going to uh, substitute the values measure a b we have to find so we'll write it as it is instead of a c we'll write one square instead of b c we'll write two square two into a c again one and c d measurement we don't know so we are going to first find the measurement c d how we are going to find it since if you see c d b c d in triangle b c d b c d we, this is the right angle triangle and we can apply a, a trigonometric ratio on it. So for that trigonometric ratio, we need to find out the angle. So these are two adjacent supplementary angles. So if this is 120 degree, then this is going to be the angle 60 degree. And since we have to, uh, we have, must have angle with the base, that is why we have sorted this angle as 60 degree. Now we are going to apply the trigonometric ratio which is going to be cos 60 degree is equal to curly brown here's brown means base here means hypotenuse which is this bc right so we are going to apply the uh, identities and insert the values cos 60 degree is equal to 1 over 2 cd is equal to that we have to find and measurement of bc is 2 right so cd we are supposed to find and we'll take all the values to the other side so cd and 2 over 2 it is 1 so we'll insert in this equation the value of cd so it will become a b square is equal to 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 2 into 1 into 1 is 
again to 1 plus 4 plus 2 that is equal to 7 and since we have to find out the value of a b so we'll take the square root on both sides so a b is equal to square root 7 or you can even write it as 2.646 centimeter okay now the second thing that we were supposed to find was the area of triangle abc so area of triangle abc we are supposed to write down the formula for area of triangle so area of triangle is it is half base into height right so what will be half half is half as it is and base is base will be ac and height will be bd half is ac into bd since we know the value of ac which is one centimeter but we don't know the value of bd so first we are going to solve the value of bd so if you see here how we are going to solve the value of bd this is the triangle right angle triangle if i make it like that b b c so this is right angle triangle so we can easily apply pythagoras theorem on it so square of BC is equal to sum of the square of other two sides, that is CD square plus BD square. So let's apply the <coughs> Pythagoras theorem. So we'll write down that BC square is equal to CD square plus BD square. So BC square is 2 square and CD we have already sort sorted out and BT square as it is. So 2 2 square is 4 My minus 1 this is. So BD square is equal to 3. So this implies that BD is equal to square root of 3. So we'll just insert this value over here. So area of triangle ABC will be equal to half base is 1 height will be square root 3 so it will be square root 3 by 2 centimeter square so we have <coughs> so found out what is being asked in the question that was the length of the side a b and the area of the triangle abc hope you understand the sum thank you so very much allah Hafiz.